Hello my dear friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Barbara and today we're going to be looking at what type of audience or following are you guys going to attract based on your 11th house. So whatever sign you have in the 11th house is going to tell us what types of people are going to be interested in the work that you're putting out there. The 11th house does deal with large groups of people. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with Pisces and work our way backwards, okay? So if you have Pisces in your 11th house, the types of people you guys are going to attract are spiritual, highly connected, interested in metaphysics, interested in the psychic realms. They could be interested in things like art, okay? Film, creativity, these types of things. It's very expansive, okay? A lot of the time, if you have Pisces in your 11th house, you're going to attract people who have unconditional love for you, okay? You're putting it out there. They're going to be bringing it back to you. Another interesting thing about the Pisces 11th house is a lot of your audience could be people who you have some sort of past life connection with so they can feel highly connected to you, okay? Might not be aware of why, might not remember why. Maybe you guys had some sort of past life encounter and now these people are feeling very magnetized toward you. If you have Aquarius in your 11th house, you are going to attract people. It could be on the internet, okay? Because Aquarius does deal with the internet. So your following could be on the internet. You could be someone who maybe even started your following like earlier, like ahead of the crowd, right? Some sort of maybe YouTube channel or maybe you guys discovered a new social media that people haven't discovered just yet and you guys are on there. So you guys are basically creating a following, an audience through the internet. It's going to be different types of people, unconventional people, rebellious types of people. Also, if you have the Aquarius 11th house, maybe you're going to do things like technology reviews, science reviews, gadget reviews, and you're going to attract these people to you. Also, you could be a little bit quirky and then your audience in turn can also be quirky. Just very much different, out of the box, doing something unconventional, basically questioning the status quo outside of the norm, okay? So this is really, and these are the types of people that you're going to attract to you, like people who have these types of interests. If you have Capricorn in your 11th house, you're going to attract a very serious, mature audience. It could even be people who are older than you, people who are very much established, Maybe you're gonna be interested in talking about business, giving business tips, financial tips, maybe people who are in the corporate world. This is the type of audience that's going to be interested in you. It's very much like to the point, clear, very much about hard work. And these people are also in turn hardworking toward you. Also with the Capricorn 11th house audience, you guys could attract people to you. So your audience could very much be people that like were with you from the beginning. So you started and you started building something and they've been there with you along the journey. And it's like, you've been very consistent on what it is that you do. So these are the types of people that you're going to attract. If you have a Sagittarius 11th house, you're probably going to attract people into your audience who are from different countries, international. Maybe they even speak different languages. The Sagittarius 11th house could be very popular in a different country. Maybe you live in a certain country and you know, you have a huge part of your audience that's abroad, okay, elsewhere in a different country. Sagittarius also deals with the higher mind. So you guys are probably going to attract people who are highly intellectual, have a lot of different interests. Probably whatever it is that you guys do, you're gonna be sharing, you're gonna be teaching something. So it's going to be an audience that's eager to learn, right? They want to learn. They have some sort of need based on what it is that you're teaching them. So that's really the exchange with the Sagittarius 11th house audience. Scorpio 11th house you guys are going to create an obsessive audience, a loyal audience. Your audience is going to be obsessed with you. Okay. It's like an obsession where it's like, they want to know everything about you. They're going to be researching you. They just want to know, you know, what's going on in your private life. Cause there's almost like an element of mystery to you when you have the scorpionic 11th house, no matter what it is that you guys are doing, right. In terms of interacting with other people, people are always going to want to know more. People are going to want to go investigate about you. They're going to want to go dig deep. The thing is with the Scorpio 11th house, your audience is either going to love you or hate you. You can be a very polarizing individual if you have the scorpionic 11th house and because of this obsessive energy, it could almost be like a cult like following. Like it's like people who love you are loyal to you. They're going to be arguing with other people about you. Okay. So that is really the Scorpio 11th house. Libra 11th house. You guys are going to attract people who love artistic things, nice things. Maybe this is going to be something that you guys are doing yourselves. That's what you're delivering to your audience. Maybe you guys are going to be interested in, you know, making your house look nice, doing interior design. And then you're going to have people who are interested in things like this, interested in home decor. It's probably going to be more so feminine energy leaning audience, right? People who like nice things, people who maybe want to be styled, stylish, right? Maybe you guys are going to be interested in this, sharing that out there to the world. And then in turn, your audience is going to be interested in this. Also, if you have the Libra 11th house, you're going to have an audience that wants to be fair and they could also be interested in learning about law. Maybe you're a lawyer or something of this sort and you're teaching law. Okay. These types of things to your audience. And then in turn, your audience is interested in this. It's always going to be balanced. It's going to be a very like soothing audience, right? They're going to be fair. They're going to be nice. It's really the Libra 11th house energy. Virgo 11th house. So those of you who have Virgo in the 11th house, 
the type of audience you guys are going to have is going to be very niche, okay? Very particular, very much like there's something that you guys are delivering to them and it's a certain group of people that's interested in this. They're also going to be the types of people who are analytical and really pay attention to detail. So if you're someone who is delivering something to the audience, you yourself probably are very good at explaining things clearly, concisely, you know, you're very much grounded, down to earth, and this is what they're seeking. They're interested in this detail. Alternatively, you can also attract people who are critical of you or just like really paying attention to every single thing. Maybe write in the comments and be like, hey, you said it this way, not that way, and it's like the smallest like error, these types of things. So if you have the Virgo 11th house, you really, really want to make sure that you know everything that you're talking about and that you're on point because your audience is definitely going to point it out if you guys missed something or if you guys didn't like explain it clearly. They want it to be clear. They want it to be concise, clear and to the point. That's the type of audience you guys are going to be attracting with the Virgo 11th house. Leo 11th house, you guys are going to attract an audience that worships you, okay? And this is what you guys are really looking for. It's going to be an audience that loves you. They think you're like a king or queen. They literally want to kiss the floor that you walk on. Like they are obsessed with you, right? In that way, right? In like a, this is my king, this is my queen type of way. That's really the Leo audience. Also, you guys can attract people who are well known to also be part of your audience as well, okay? That could also happen with the Leo energy. Leo 11th house is kind of like you guys give off this vibe, you're confident, you know what you're talking about, and it's like, I deserve to be respected and I deserve to be worshipped. And in turn, the audience is going to be basically reflecting that back to you guys. You guys are also looking for an audience that's going to send you guys love and admiration and, you know, respect. Like, that's really what you guys are looking for. So that's the type of audience you guys are going to attract. It's going to be an audience where it's like, they love you, they respect you. Also, the audience that you guys attract could be very much youthful in their energy. It doesn't really matter what their age is, they're just more youthful. So it's like, they worship you guys. That's really what that is, okay? It's an energy of worship when you have the Leo in the 11th house. Cancer 11th house. So you guys are going to attract an audience that kind of feels like your family. You guys are gonna say things like, hey family, what's up family? Like stuff like this, where it's like, you guys really feel like you created your own family. You guys are gonna nurture your audience and in turn, your audience is going to nurture you, okay? It's going to kind of feel like you've created this little baby with whatever work that you guys do and you're really nurturing it. Another thing also with the Cancer 11th house is like, because it is that energy of nurture, you can really have people stick around for a long time because they do feel nurtured by you. And it is that family energy where it's like, you know, they're a kid or they're a baby and now they're a kid and whatever, now they're a teenager. So that's really the thing here. It's like you guys are family, you're growing old together really when you have that Cancerian 11th house. Also with the Cancer 11th house is going to be very much a more feminine energy fan base, okay? You guys could even be interested in things like cooking, or having like a cooking channel or whatever it is. You guys could be doing these types of nurturing tasks and your audience loves that, right? So it's like, you really feel love, okay? That's the thing you guys are looking for from your audience. You want to feel love from them and feel like that family connection. Gemini 11th house, you guys are going to attract an audience that is very much youthful in their energy, okay? Very much excited, so excited to be alive. They wanna learn everything. You guys could even attract an audience that's like interested in learning a lot of different things, if that makes sense. So it's like, they could be interested in your channel, if you have a channel or whatever it is that you're doing and they're gonna be interested in this thing, that's completely different. So you're gonna have a variation of interests. Also, you guys can attract people who very much question your beliefs because they're highly intellectual, right? It's all about the mind with them. Also, you guys could maybe do something that's like comedy or like comedic and your audience enjoys that. They like comedy, they like intellectual things, they like witty things. They like learning new things. Really the main thing here is that you guys are going to attract a huge different group of people. It's going to be people from all walks of life when you have the Gemini 11th house. Taurus 11th house, you guys are all about slow and steady wins the race. So it's like no matter what you guys started to do, whoever the original audience was, whoever were the people that were interested in you when you first started out, they are going to be there with you guys as you guys build, as you guys grow. It's going to really be a loyal audience, okay? When you have the Taurus 11th house, you guys could even be maybe interested in anything that's Venusian. So it's like, it could be people who are more feminine energy leaning, where it's like, again, you're teaching them things about maybe how to make things look nice, luxurious things. You could even be teaching them about like real estate, houses, home improvement, these types of things. And then people who have this interest in return. Another thing also with the Taurus 11th house really is that you guys could even be teaching these people about money or how to make money as well, okay? So it's going to be really a loyal fan base. That's the main thing here. And it's like people who started off with you, you know, 10 years down the road where it's like maybe you have a larger group of people who are interested in what you're doing, the original people are gonna be like, we were here from the beginning, okay? So that's the 11th house in the sign of Taurus. Finally, we have the Aries 11th house. This one is going to be hardcore and intense, okay? Because it's all about like intensity, being the best. Maybe you're gonna be someone who's interested in athletics and your audience is interested in these types of things. It's very much like an aggressive, like it could be very much masculine energy leaning audience when you have that Aries 11th house. Also, it's kind of like people who are willing to argue for you, okay? That's the thing with the Aries 11th house. It's like 
these people are very much committed to whatever it is you're teaching them or whatever it is that you're doing maybe there's some sort of scam or whatever it is and your audience is willing to argue for you right people are going to have arguments about you or whatever it is that you guys do you guys are probably going to have a fiery and a passionate group of people who are interested in what it is that you do so that is the aries in the 11th house i hope you guys enjoyed my quick little video here on the type of audience or following that you guys are going to attract based on your 11th house if you guys like this video please do like share and subscribe you can let me know in the comments below as well and i hope you all have a beautiful rest of the day